Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelby Buzzle here on YouTube. And if you think the audio has improved a lot in this video compared to my last couple videos in this room, make sure you give this video a thumbs up because I've been working really hard to make it sound better for you guys. So I hope I did a good job. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about my zero waste kitchen, my pantry, and my fridge. I wanted to show you both of those. And I wanted to tell you guys where I get my groceries from because a lot of videos I've been making recently, um, I tried zero waste grocery shopping at. It's a whole series that I have and I'll link it in the cards if you want to check that out. But I wanted to let you know where I get my groceries from because it's a combination of more than one place. And then I'd love to hear where you guys get stuff from because depending on where you live, maybe somebody else in the comment section is looking for something you've already found and we can just create a great little community in the comments of this video. But I'll tell you where I get all of my stuff from. So three main places, well, four-ish main places that I get stuff from. So number one is my bulk stuff. So that's what you see in the background here. Admittedly, I put it up like this in my kitchen because it is very aesthetic and I've always wanted an aesthetic zero waste kitchen. It doesn't compromise any of the integrity of my kitchen to have it also be aesthetic because all of those jars are secondhand. Most of the things that there were bought in bulk and I'm not just doing it for the aesthetics. I'm sure you guys know that by now. But yes, this is my bulk section right here and where I get that from is a place called Central Market. And they have those in, I think, uh, three of the main cities in Texas, San Antonio, Austin, and Dallas, I don't think they are in Houston, but if you live in any of those areas, you can get bulk things at Central Market. They have an amazing bulk section. Another place to get my groceries from is Thrive Market, which I'm partnering with Thrive Market on this video because I love them so, so much. So anything that I can't get in bulk that I do have to buy in packaging, I get it from Thrive Market. So things like condiments or spices, certain vegan specialty products, I would rather buy it from a company like Thrive Market because they are so sustainable and ethical. They are a zero waste company that also donates a lot of their profits to people in need. For every membership purchase, they give one to a school teacher or a veteran or someone like that who would really benefit from being able to use Thrive Market at their affordable prices and being able to get healthy foods. So I love supporting Thrive Market and we'll talk more about them throughout this video. And also on top of their low prices, they're offering you guys 25% off of your first order with the link in the description. So check them out, jump ahead if you want, but that's the the second place I get groceries from. The third place I get groceries from is a place called Imperfect Produce. So they are a service that basically takes fruits and vegetables and actually other products as well as you'll see throughout this video. They take those items that don't get sold in the supermarket and would otherwise be thrown out. Sometimes imperfect produce gets thrown out just by the farmer. It never even makes it to the supermarket because it's not pretty enough to sit on the shelves and they don't think it will sell. So then they sell it through the imperfect produce box. I have a video that talks more about that in depth and I'll link it up here if you wanna check that out. But yes, so that's the third place. And then the fourth place I supplement with is a place called HEB. In Texas, that's probably where I get most of the things if something doesn't come in my imperfect box, if I don't have time to run to Central Market to get something in bulk, if I need to buy something that I don't know where to get in bulk and it's not on Thrive Market, HEB is my supplement for that. So enough about where I get my groceries from. Let me show you some of my staples and what my fridge looks like. By the way, my fridge is pretty bare because I need to go grocery shopping. Um, so not the best time to show you what it looks like, but nonetheless. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so this is my fridge behind me. Like I said, it's not super full. And also something you should know before we get into this really quickly is I do have technically a tenant or a roommate. You'll find out who they are soon-ish, but there are some things in my fridge and especially in the pantry over there that um, are not mine. So just know that if you see something that's yeah, that I don't claim to be mine, that it's probably not mine. <laughs> and also, this fridge uh, is an LG fridge. We bought it secondhand, which is really important, but I also made sure to do a lot of research on the brands to see which ones hold up better than others, to see which ones are more energy efficient, so on and so forth. So I, I'm obsessed with this fridge, by the way. It's one of the ones that has, um, this is the fridge portion, and then the freezer is at the slider at the bottom. So we'll get to that, but let's see what's in here right now. So another thing about my fridge is whenever you leave it open for too long, um, it starts beeping. So I'm gonna try to do this pretty quickly uh, and just show you like what are the staples in here. So in the door here, let's turn it. Like I said, if I don't address something, it's probably not mine. So uh, we have some garlic in here. We pre-chop our own garlic. I've mentioned that before that I don't really like to buy jarred or canned garlic pre-cut. So whenever we're chopping up garlic, we'll just chop up some extras and put it in this little guy. Garlic is an essential in this home. Um, these kombuchas have an interesting story. I told you I get 
some of my produce from a place called Imperfect Produce, but they also have things other than just produce. So these were discontinued and they were gonna get thrown out, but they showed up in my Imperfect box. There goes the beeping. But yeah, that's the story behind these kombuchas. They were gonna end up as waste, so I got them in my box. I have a group of Topo Chicos uh, with lime. I did buy these because you guys might know I've been on a battle since the beginning of this year to quit soda. Um, and this is the best carbonated water that I have found. It comes in glass, of course, so that's super awesome. And I just keep these in here for days when I'm craving soda so I can have one of these instead. Then the milk, uh, someone asked me this the other day because I've talked about Madison's struggle to find a plant-based milk that she likes. Uh, I don't drink milk really with anything ever, so I don't keep the house stocked with any sort of plant milks. Uh, but this is the one Madison likes. It is a flax milk. Um, and I told her I'm going to try to make it for her myself, but I know she's very picky, so I don't know if the one I make will be as good as this one to give up the package one. But right now, I'm just happy she's choosing plant-based over dairy milks. Then if we turn you guys this way a little bit more, you can see inside the fridge which has some meal prep in it. So this is just we pre-cooked, like this is broccoli, potatoes, just pre-cooking some meals for the week. We've got a tiffin in here with some leftovers. Um, some beans also that I put in this reused plastic container. Pickles, pickles are a big deal in this house, not just for me, but also my sister is obsessed with pickles. So these ones are, are actually my favorite. These are from Thrive Market and they're hot and spicy pickles. Love a hot and spicy pickle. Hate a sweet dill, not sweet dill, what are they called, bread and butter pickle? Bread and butter pickles are just about the devil because they trick you into thinking they're the cute little yummy pickles and they turn out to be absolutely gross. So this is a favorite in my house right now. These are really affordable over on Thrive Market. These are by Thrive Market's brand, so that's how they keep those really affordable. We'll get into the produce drawer in just a second, but I'm gonna switch over here to this door. Uh, some of my condiments here, like I said, my fridge is pretty empty, like both the staples are in here. I got this guy from Thrive Market too. Uh, it's a coconut half and half and so far Madison's really liking it in her tea which also makes me very happy but yeah these are not zero waste they are tetra packs and there are drop-off locations in my city so they can still be recycled obviously it's not ideal but I'm choosing it over dairy milk any day then all my condiments are from Thrive Market. I mentioned that I like to support Thrive Market when I'm buying condiments because even though they come in plastic, I'm still supporting a really ethical and sustainable company. And so far, I have not found a good mustard that comes in glass. So my mustard does come in plastic, but it is organic and it is from Thrive Market supporting a sustainable and zero waste company. Uh, this I'm really pumped about. This is a garlic Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna let it have its moment. Um, garlic Parmesan cheese, yes. I actually use it to make the meal prep that I showed you a minute ago on the broccoli and it's so good. And then this is in glass and it does come from Thrive Market also. It is organic unsweetened ketchup. So uh, we don't use ketchup too, too often, but when we do, I like to try to make it the more healthy version because ketchup is full of preservatives and terrible sweeteners for you. So I try to be better there. And last but not least, the produce drawer. Um, I'll just take myself out of the equation for a moment and show you above it. So these came in, all these is from my Imperfect Produce box I mentioned. Um, I do have a discount code with them also if you guys want to check that out. I think it's 50% off of your box, uh, your first box. So I have some Roma tomatoes. These came in plastic, but again, they came from something that otherwise would have been thrown away. We've got a chopped up onion that already has been started storing it in a stasher bag. Carrots, cucumbers. These guys came in my imperfect box. A mango. This guy needs to get ready because I really like to eat him. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable. And then over here, this is so exciting. So I buy butter lettuce in plastic traditionally. It's my favorite lettuce and it comes in plastic and it's just something that I haven't compromised on. It is local though. Sorry you keep hearing my fridge beep. But I got an unpackaged butter lettuce in my imperfect box last week and I was so pumped about it. This guy uh, is not mine, but whatever. And then there's romaine. So they are all lettuce in here, but uh, it's all for different purposes. And then there's nothing in here at the moment. I need to, I need to go grocery shopping. So moving on to the freezer, there's not too much stuff in here either. Honestly, they have, I have some of the Gardein skillet meals, which I love. They're really, really good. And then down here, there's not a lot of stuff either. But I got these guys in my imperfect box. They are bagels that we're gonna get thrown away. So I have those. And then my compost is in here for now. We do have curbside composting, but we don't have anywhere to store it in the house. So just some coffee grounds and some leaves that I pruned off of my plants. Not a lot going on in there at the moment. All right, 
right, let's get into the good stuff. So my bulk finds, uh, things that I do buy in bulk. Some of them, um, actually most of the pastas are not from bulk, they're from um, cardboard packages. But I put them in here after I open them to store them so that they don't get like bugs in them and stuff. So we've got spaghetti, cashews, and almonds. They're just mixed together right now because I don't have enough containers. I need to get more jars secondhand or either reuse some things that I use up soon. Then we've got some beans and rice, white navy beans, brown rice, granola. This is my favorite granola. It's a blueberry vanilla. It's really good. Uh, peppermint tea, black beans, love black beans. I need a bigger jar for those because we'll go through those pretty quickly. Pasta, again, that was bought in a cardboard box but put in here so it stays good. Chia seeds, I've been thinking about moving these to the fridge. Do you guys keep your chia seeds in the fridge or not? I don't know, I think it might be important. Uh, pasta, this one is really interesting. This is bulk pastas I've gotten. But if you can see in there, it's a mix of all different pastas that just kind of got left over and all minced together. <laughs> This is a quinoa couscous mix, um, and this is rigatoni. And then if I take you up there, <laughs> I'll have to point you up there, hold on. So the top shelf has things that I don't use as often, um, except for one of the things that's gonna have to be relocated. So pretzels, pinto beans, catnip, you can't see my finger pointing for you. Uh, popcorn, that's the one that needs to come down here, but I haven't, it's not a great situation for it just yet. Uh, chamomile tea, lentils, and a bulk pasta that I did buy in bulk. Okay, now this is the built-in pantry. We won't go through everything in it, but I'll show you some of my favorites, some of my staples, all that good stuff. Uh, and kind of tell you how we have it sectioned off. So the very bottom shelf, uh, the one you can see is mine, but there's one more below it that is not mine, that is my tenants, and we'll talk more about them later. Top shelf is for packaged uh, non-perishables, so things like Daya cheese, or Daya mac and cheese, I should say, uh, couscous, rices, things like that. Second shelf is more for canned type foods on this side, and then on this side is more like Madison stuff that she uses. Uh, let me bring you in closer. <laughs> so Madison's just got her vitamins. Oh, these are Tippy's cat treats. He's literally standing right here, so we don't wanna shake those. Um, her meal replacement, she drinks this in the morning. And then over here, we keep canned things. Things like peanut butter, corn, tomato paste. This is a organic tomato sauce from Thrive Market. It's so cheap. So we buy things like this from Thrive Market. We also buy our coconut milk from Thrive Market because it's just much more affordable and you get to support a more sustainable company, like I said. So make sure you check them out. They are partnering with me on this video, so I would appreciate it if you would at least give them some love and check out their store because their prices are amazing. Their ethics are amazing. They're just amazing. I love you so much, Thrive Market, by the way. So there's that. Oh, and then this. This is one of my favorite things, and I'm forever waiting for Thrive Market to carry it. This is Amy's Organic Chili, the spicy one. You can put this with nearly anything, and it's amazing. You have to try this if you have not tried it before. Now this is like things that are not refrigerated type condiments. This is a vegan bacon grease. Uh, they do not sell this at Thrive Market, something else I'm waiting for them to carry. But it's amazing if you've never tried this. I make my grandma's spaghetti with this, but I make a vegan version of it. And it's literally just like this, onions and tomato sauce. And oh my God, it's like childhood. So love that. Coconut oil, um, this. This coconut oil is my favorite, but it's also the most expensive one I've ever seen. It is by Dr. Bronner's, um, and then I do buy it on Thrive Market to get it at a discount. It's amazing, but it is very expensive. So if you're looking for a good one, but you want a discount on it, Thrive Market's got you on that. Also, I buy tahini from Thrive Market. It comes in a glass jar. It needs to be stirred up, but this is a new one, so this guy. And then we have soy sauce back there, and my love forever, sriracha. Never giving that up. <laughs> And the last but not least shelf that belongs to me in the pantry is the spice cabinet shelf, spice shelf. They're not all mine, they are combined with, like I said, my tenants. Um, but some things in here that you can't live without, nutritional yeast. I bought this originally on Thrive Market, but now I can refill it in my bulk store, so I just keep refilling this one. It's convenient to use this. Uh, this is something I got from Thrive Market I've raved about many times. It comes in a compostable plastic bag. It is a hot chocolate mix that's not super processed and sugary. Madison really likes it, but since it comes in that little compostable bag, we have to put it in here to store it. Not chicken cubes. 
amazing. If you don't have these for spicing things up in your life, you need them. And the only other spice that is my favorite that I have to give a mention to is Tony C's. Put this on nearly everything. <laughs> And then on to the last leg of our zero waste kitchen for some unpackaged produce. We keep it over here on this little, um, I don't know if you call this a bar cart, uh, but it's just an extra place to store things. It's empty now because we just moved in, right? We don't have an ideal storage situation for everything just yet, but we do keep the produce up here, so that's utilization. We just have some lemons, of course, love lemon water. Onions, apples, garlic, those are peaches, local peaches from Fredericksburg. Eggplants, Honeycrisp apples, they're my favorite. Red potatoes, also love those. They were in my meal prep this week. And a little personal watermelon that I am ready to enjoy today. So, that's it. Oh, Actually, <laughs> as I was trailing off, those are where I put my spices. If I can get spices in bulk, they go up there. So, yay. Alrighty, y'all, well, that is it for my zero waste kitchen tour, pantry slash fridge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any tips for people in your area for zero waste grocery shopping, make sure you leave it in the comments. Do you have access to Imperfect Produce? Have you checked out Thrive Market yet? And do you even have access to bulk shopping at all in general? I would love to hear it in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out Thrive Market since they are sponsoring this video and they're going to give you 25% off of your first order. Like I said, they are a zero waste company. Their stuff always comes packaged in paper when it arrives to me. You can get glass things on there and they have amazing ways to sort through the groceries to get just vegan alternatives, just alternatives that come in recyclable packaging. They even have a way to sort by compostable packaging. So they are an amazing company. I have a great relationship with them and I also order a lot of the things that I stock my pantry with through them. So make sure you check them out and remember until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye guys.